7 KTVU Plus. All right, thanks, Christina. Yeah, a lot of concern about this shooting. Thank you very much. It is an ambitious goal. The mayor of San Francisco wants to get 8,000 homeless people off the streets permanently, and he wants it done in just four years. Yeah, to do this, Mayor Ed Lee has created the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing. It will launch in just a few days on July 1st with a $165 million annual budget. And the man he's chosen to lead the newly created department has more than 20 years of experience working with homeless men, women, and families, and is known as a national leader in innovative solutions to homelessness. Today in the 4x4, we're talking with Jeff Kaczynski. He joins us now live from San Francisco. And Jeff, I guess that is the $165 million question. Mm -hmm. How are you going to get 8,000 homeless people off the streets in just four years? Well, San Francisco has had a long history of being a, a leader in what's called supportive housing, which is housing with support services. Uh, we so far have housed nearly 10,000 people in San Francisco who, who were homeless and are now permanently housed individuals. And this is really an extension of good work that started uh, many years ago um, by, by city leaders, both here in City Hall as well as in the nonprofit sector. All right, you know, I live in San Francisco and I, I speak to a lot of people. I've covered the homeless problem. And what I hear repeatedly is I'm frustrated and I'm fed up. This is people uh, who live in the communities, also homeless people themselves, that not enough is being done. There's not enough movement. There's not enough accountability. So my question is, how are you going to spur movement and uh, actually bring about change? Yeah, that's a great question because I'm frustrated also. Mm. There's still six or 7,000 homeless people on the streets and we, we really need to do better to get these folks indoors to a safe and healthy environment so they can get on with their lives. I think Mayor Lee's decision to put all of the city's homeless programs under one department is a great first start. And we're gonna set up a data system that will allow us to really track the services that we're providing. And it's gonna be great for the clients as well. They'll be able to come in and speak to one person to, they'll be sent to the, the appropriate place to get the resources they need. And we'll be able to track them through the system to make sure that they're successful. This has been done in other communities to great success. And I believe once we have a better handle on the homeless population, what their needs are, we'll be able to, to serve them much better than we have been to today. So are you saying that over all these decades, so you grab someone off the street, someone who's homeless, they start on the right track, but then they get lost in the system here in San Francisco over the decades because just, they just, there's too many agencies involved? Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that there's too many agencies involved, um, but there are multiple agencies with different data systems. There's many nonprofit organizations, and there hasn't been a way to sort of share data across different platforms and across different organizations. And one of my priorities with this new department is going to be to set up a system that will allow us to do that. Yeah, I do have a question about real quick on, on the, the, the the camps that we see around the city. What's your take on whether or not these homeless people should be allowed to stay in their tents or do you support the idea of taking them down and trying to get them uh, into, into housing and, and support areas? It's Mary Lee and I are both in agreement that uh, living on the streets is not a safe, healthy uh, option for, for anyone. Uh, not only is it uh, not a uh, humane way for, for individuals on the streets to have to live. It's disruptive to our communities at large, and we're going to do our best to find ways to reach out to folks in those encampments to make sure we have somewhere for them to go where they can access services and uh, help them navigate the system so that they can end up in permanent housing. Jeff, getting back to the original question of getting 8,000 people off the streets in four years, you're talking about supportive housing. You know, housing is is a crunch for everyone in San Francisco. Where are you going to find those units to put them in? It takes years to get a simple building permit mm -hmm. approved in San Francisco. How are you going to get 8,000 people in housing in four years? It there's not one strategy. Uh, there's multiple strategies. First of all, we have we have something called the Homeward Bound Program here in San Francisco, where if somebody is uh, on the streets here in San Francisco and they want to return home, and we can verify that there's somebody in another community that's waiting for them that will help them uh, find housing and get secure, uh, that program uh, has been very successful. We also have uh, master leasing where. We find vacant SRO units here in San Francisco and lease those from the owners and then make them available to homeless folks, uh, as well as the construction of affordable housing, which, which does take time, but the city has invested a lot of resources over the years and has been very successful bringing thousands of affordable housing units online for, for homeless families. So and to follow it's not going to happen overnight. 
Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt, but but to follow up on that, if you are successful, and I'm sure everybody's rooting mm -hmm. for you to make this happen, uh, isn't that going to attract more homeless from, because a lot of people in San Francisco come from outside of the city. Um, most of them are from the Bay Area, but they come to San Francisco because there are so many services for homeless people. Is that going to attract more people than those 8,000 that you house? You're going to have 8,000 new people on the streets. Yeah, the homeless population in the Bay Area is very mobile, and really every county believes that uh, all homeless people are coming into their counties to access services. And what you'll see is just a great deal of movement. You know, I believe the number is about 65 percent of the homeless folks here in San Francisco were living in the city prior to become, becoming homeless. Uh, for families, it's actually a much higher percentage. It's closer to 85 percent of the families. So it, it's really, uh, it is a regional problem, and I look forward to working with my colleagues and other counties because we need to, in the long term, come up with a regional solution. But it's a very mobile population. I don't believe that having better services is necessarily going to attract uh, folks into San Francisco. And, and we have ways of working with uh, individuals and families to help confirm that they are here and to dissuade them from sort of traveling to different places to get services. All right, Jeff Kaczynski, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us. We do indeed wish you a lot of luck with this. Thank you all so much for covering this issue. I look forward to talking to you again. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Jeff. We'll be getting some updates on that yeah. as it moves on forward. All right. Thanks. When Facebook was accused of scrubbing out conservative content from its trending news feature, the company said it would open its doors to the GOP. I'll tell you 